What's happening, folks? Gerald here, aka J Fro90, coming at you with another reaction, another Beatles reaction. And this is another Beatles single that I've never heard before, as far as I know. I just did Hello Goodbye, and I thought I didn't know that one, and that might be the Beatles song I've known the longest and the best, <laughs> truthfully, because of commercials. So, anyway, I don't think I. I feel like I would know this title if I knew this one, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I know the mel uh, the melody or through it through covers. I don't know, but um, excited to check it out. Excited to you know hear it and see this video. Before we get to it though, need you guys to go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Now, without further ado, this is the Beatles with "I'm the Walrus." <laughs> So that instrumentation is definitely familiar. Um, I'm positive. I'm positive. I've heard that in things and used in things before. Um, yeah, it's it's funny. It's funny how that. Worked. But I loved it, and I love John's vocal in that. It was very different, or it more so kind of reminded me a bit of like his earlier work a bit. But I like his. I like his voice in that. I really, really love John's voice in that. I really love that. But those violins are probably my favorite thing about that song, though. And what I love about the uh, contrast of this and Hello Goodbye is that what I was saying. Um, this is a. This is. I was saying in that video, in case you didn't see it, that um, the different the difference between what I found on this journey so far between 
early Beatles work and later Beatles work is that early Beatles work had more of that earworm effect for the melodies and the chorus. And that's, of course, why it makes perfect sense why they were, you know, hits for their time. To, even though they had hits all throughout, I know that. But um, they had that instant poppy kind of hit that where it's like it's easier for me to draw back to those than these later songs. The later songs, though, maybe not as earworm for me, they think in, in a different way. And for me... The use of those violins like that, the use of that instrumentation, the use of John's voice like that is something that, like, I was very moved by in a way that, say, I wasn't necessarily for Hello Goodbye. And I love that. I, that's why I love with any group and any artist, something that has the contrast. You grow, but then you do things on album number seven or eight that reminds you of, like, album number two, but then you still are doing things to push the envelope past seven and eight so anyway love that love that and hope you all do too <laughs> hope you love this reaction if you do please go ahead and like subscribe ring the bell for notifications in the description in the description below you'll find all of my social media uh available for you to follow me on if you would like to um tip me or donate or anything like that that's all down there as well but i would most appreciate is if you will uh, check out my patreon on Patreon, you're going to get benefits like early access to videos like these, Patreon-only videos like these, and occasionally extended videos like these. Like, this one, I don't know if it will be available on YouTube, but whether or not Patreon had it first and had it for a long time before YouTube, so consider that. So anyway, anyway, um, that just lastly, again, thank you so much for even taking the time to push play on this video today. That means so much to me, and it goes a very long way. And beyond everything else, you all, please take care of yourselves and each other.